This Paint Life TV, I'm Chris, the Idaho Painter, and I'm gonna be talking about a product here, the Outpack Paint Station. And this is a local company here in Boise, Idaho, that approached me with a product that I think is pretty cool. And we're gonna talk about it, what it does, the Outpack Paint Station and the Slurry solution that goes along with it. So stay tuned for this video. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the Outpack Paint Station. Now this is a local company and the Outpack products, they were actually originally designed as um, state dumping stations for concrete companies. And, and concrete companies have to dispose of the concrete uh, properly. Uh, there's a lot of environmental regulations because of it, because of what's in the concrete. And I think it's some lime and some other stuff. I'm not an expert on that side of stuff, but they have been around a long time for dumping stations for concrete. So you might have seen these things around before but they're a lot larger and they're made out of a different material they started manufacturing these devices um, a couple different ones for painters also as paint stations to put your um, airless sprayers in they do this is just a cardboard box they do have them made out of um, different materials and stuff other than just cardboard and they have plastic liners that go on so they make them waterproof and you could set your sprayer in there so if you did have some type of a disaster and paint spill it would be contained inside this box and they have this size and they got larger ones this one is kind of like a multi-use box that this thing will actually fold down on the back side and you can uh, set a ro rolling pan inside this thing and roll out of it it's got little notches that you can set your roller in if it's on an extension pole that it can set here inside the box and it acts as like a, a paint station that can actually slide around if you're working in like warehouses and stuff and rolling you know in warehouses and you want to keep your um your uh, roller and the pan itself contained inside of a box. But I think like outside, setting them outside, you know, containing your airless sprayer, uh, putting them inside. If you're spraying inside, your airless sprayer is inside. If you've ever had, I've had gallons spill over. I've had five gallons spill over next to sprayers because you're pulling the hose. It wraps around the paint and it knocks over the paint, creates a big disaster. If it's inside this box with the plastic liner, you could um, avert some of those disasters and I'm just curious if you guys have seen this if anybody's used it like to know what your comments are below I know you know I was introduced to the product years ago and you know as environmental uh, regulations get harder and more stringent things like this are becoming more important because as painters there's a lot of regulations we have to abide by one thing is is disposing paint and disposing paint properly nowadays in some states here in the United States you can't dispose of paint into um, the landfills without um, disposing of it properly and they manufacture Manufacturer products called slurry solution I'm going to show you it solidifies paint I'm going to show you how it actually works so you can actually use one of these paint stations with the liner you can clean out your brushes you can clean out your sprayer keep the liquid inside here put the slurry solution in it it'll solidify the milky water on um, the painted water or paint and then you can dispose of it at least here in Idaho you can dispose of it by adding the slurry solution you do got to check out your own environmental regulations of, of what is disposing of it properly some places even that that water that cleaning water where you're cleaning your brushes and um, rollers and your airless sprayers that stuff is considered ha as hazardous waste so definitely check out environmental re regulations because there's big big fines in some states if you don't dispose of it properly but the slurry solution is a pretty interesting product there's a lot of things you can use it for if you're just a do-it-yourself or a homeowner and you have paint and you want to get rid of the paint and send it off to the landfill you do need to solidify that paint you you can't send it off as liquid and I'll show you I'm gonna dump in a little bit of slurry solution and I keep this actually and you can see it's a used bottle I keep it in my um, my vehicle just in case I have a paint spill that's one thing if I have a disaster a paint spill I can dump this on a paint spill it's gonna it's going to um, absorb the paint rapidly and um, 
and then you can clean up the mess a lot faster and you're not gonna have as much paint, liquid paint to deal with. But it's just a um, polymer. It's a polymer right here that absorbs water and absorbs water extremely fast. So it's gonna absorb anything liquid. You can see I got some polymer inside there, a very small amount, it, a very tiny amount absorbs a ton of water. You're gonna see that small amount right there will absorb all the water in this cup right here and it'll absorb it extremely fast it's already absorbing it's swelling up it's almost to the top now and now that water is completely absorbed and swollen inside of our slurry solution it's now solidified inside there you can see it's all solid now absorbed into the absorbed into that polymer this is a great product right here you know for a lot of different things you know uh, you know, you know disposing of paint disposing of paint water um, there's a lot of different things you can use it for but once again I think it's just something that you can keep in your vehicle for paint spills you know and, and getting rid of those disasters fast so it's a pro it's a company you know outpack paint stations they manufacture a lot of different paint stations you can go check out all the different options they got larger ones for larger sprayers and they got these multi-use ones you can check them out on paintlifesupply.com and um, see if it's something that would uh, fit your needs uh, once again if you've had any experience using them let us know um, down in the comment section below let us know what the environmental regulations are where you're painting and you know what you can get away with what you can't get away with when it comes to you know having your um, sprayers and your paint contained and and disposable re disposal regulations because I know they're getting a lot harder and more stringent on those regulations if you want to see more products like this or more product reviews me talking about more products just let us know. Also, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I come out with a new product or a new product review. You won't miss it. It's a simple, easy thing to do. Two clicks, subscribe, and then the notifi notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, the subscribe button doesn't do really anything. And if you've enjoyed this video, if you've learned something from this, if you've seen a new product you like, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. It helps support um, us, what we're doing, and encourage us to keep making these videos and like we say we'll see you next time on paint life tv out